Well, spring has sprung and uh, I didn't get around to pruning my trees yet. So the, uh, the blossoms are happening and uh, I got to get those, those sucker branches down before that happens uh, so it can put all of its energy into the fruit bearing part of the tree. <clears throat> uh, but I'm going to try to cut and tell a story at the same time. So uh, this story goes back to my teenage years. Uh, well, I can see it's not going to work. So, but anyhow, at some point I've got to get this thing pruned. For the moment, we're going to spin around and lean up against that table. Those, so I grew up in Hayward, California, which is about uh, 40 miles east or southeast of San Francisco itself. And uh, it was kind of a sleepy little town the whole time I was growing up until my teenage years when it kind of exploded. Uh, not with a population, but with maybe it was just my consciousness. I opened up and there was the world and it was uh, and it was happening part of what was happening was uh, it was 1964 or so and the whole uh, hippie revolution the whole love generation just uh, began to emerge and uh, I was caught up at right in the middle of it it was a wonderful situation I mean uh, as much as I could could we'd travel to over to San Francisco and hang out on the hate and you know buy and sell acid and <laughs> smoke joints and oh I I can't believe that I actually made it this far but uh, that was the days and you know you go out into the park and there was free music and Jesus it was amazing uh, but back in Hayward my friend and I Paul we uh, we found this little water canyon, and when I say little, I really mean little. Uh, it, it's literally off of uh, Mission Boulevard, which was the main drag going through Hayward all the way t from San Jose to Oakland. It was the old road that uh, that the uh, uh, the Jesuit priests took from mission to mission to mission. And that's why it's called Mission Santa, or Mission Boulevard, because it was the actual boulevard that that traveled from uh, actually up and down the coast. <clears throat> and uh, part of that was uh, this one corner that had a um, uh, cemetery, and it was pretty big, probably oh maybe a hundred acres. And it was at that point it was getting kind of full, and uh, you know we always wondered where where did they get the water to water that place? Because you know it was well taken care of, lawns everywhere, and uh, you know it was just kind of a curious curiosity. Until one day my friend Paul came to me and says, "Hey, I found this really cool place. Let's go up and check it out." So, you know, we had our little stash of pot. <laughs> we went up into the, uh, uh, to the south side of the cemetery and kind of followed along the, the property line and, uh, and then around the back and kind of up on the hill a little bit. And here was this pond. And it was, you know, you couldn't see the pond from the road or from anywhere, really. Uh, but it was probably oh an acre acre and a half pond and it was really beautiful and uh, <clears throat> What fed that pond was this little trickle of water and uh, And so the pond was out in the Sun and the open and you went into you followed the water up and it went into this small water Canyon. Oh probably maybe a couple hundred feet high, a big V, 
that came down to this little narrow um, wig wiggly creek but really not a creek I mean a pea water uh, stream at best uh, it uh, but you know it had minnows and had a little fish maybe <laughs> this big that was all it could handle because of each little pond was you know maybe six inches deep and ten feet long or something like that and all these little fish would go around in there but it was a constant water and, it, and you know for Hayward California that was saying something because and I'm sure that the cemetery had bought those water rights way back there because Hayward just didn't have any water uh, Hetch Hetchy Dam uh, project back in the 30s supplied water with all of uh, the Bay Area so um, here we are at this pond and we start up into this little canyon and uh, immediately the Sun goes away of course because it's a kind of a steep V and uh, and the the birch I mean not birch but bay and bay laurel and and oak trees just kind of covered the whole uh, the whole thing so it's this kind of cool little tunnel of a of a walk and it literally led back oh I don't know several miles and it was just this beautiful little canyon and and you know we visited this thing many times and during one of the times we decided you know and other people visited too and of course typical for American unconscious people there was litter everywhere but at the further you got back the less litter there was of course you know beer cans and cigarette butts Jesus it was a mess so this one time we decided that uh, that we were gonna get some garbage bags and go up there and clean up the mess because you know, we really liked going there and you know I'm sure at this point it's a total disaster once again but at that point we took oh I don't know half a dozen garbage bags with us and we went and we were just picking up the mess and you know half a dozen garbage bags means three or four bags each and uh, that's all you could handle or that's all we could handle to take them out and uh, you know once we got started it was like you know it was a project and we were on it smoking joints and having a great time picking up garbage making the place look pretty again and it's, so we had to come back two or three days in a row and the second day this guy shows up with a with a shotgun now you know he wasn't pointing the shotgun at us but he had a shotgun in his hands and he was like oh, what are you guys doing here and and we said well we're just picking up the garbage really and he was kind of surprised because you know we were long-haired hippies and uh, you know in those days uh, hippies were well known to be <laughs> you know pretty lazy and un, <laughs> un uh, unproductive to normal society you know like, you know the newsreels picture uh, painted a picture of us uh, and he and after a little while he's kind of got the fact that we were picking up the garbage and he he changed his mind and he said you know uh come back here anytime you you two are in, are invited and uh we're we're trying to keep everybody else out and we kind of we felt kind of cool about that so we came back oh i don't know half a dozen times garbage bags I mean it was a lot of garbage but we finally got the whole thing cleaned up and and about oh a quarter mile back up the canyon too we cleaned that up until we got to the point where people turned around and came back and then of course they didn't throw their trash so that was kind of a cool little thing that we did and that we had an interaction with this guy and maybe changed his mind about those long-haired crazy people Nick Collier, check it out.